So, so my exhibit here, it's called Lover's Leap. And again, it's sort of, it's influenced by my, ex the experiences that I've had here in Iowa. But the imagery, I think, is also influenced by some of these lessons I learned in Japan. Again, relating to ways of editing, ways of implying, and use of materials. And the way my work is generally made, it's kind of a simple process. First, there's a direct experience, like finding on a map several of these geographical locations called Lover's Leaps, which are up and down the, uh, the Mississippi River along the bluffs. And then there's the process of uh, looking into the history of these locations. Um, so, for example, visiting some of the archives, uh, seeing some old photographs and old po lithograph printed postcards, mostly from sort of the 1900s, uh, to see various visual treatments of these geographical locations. And then going to the library, like special collections, to find some old books that talk about the origins of these old stories. And then again, it would be visiting those sites and taking my own photographs and then sort of digesting this kind of historical context of the locations and then simply some poetic associations some free associations that come through that process. Like Mark Twain uh, wrote quite a bit about some of these lover leaps. And then there's sort of this, well, it's a dramatic story where typically it's a native, a, a distraught Native American woman who maybe she can't meet up with her lover in a different tribe and the only sort of solution she she can she decides upon is jumping off and so anyway the work appears as some uh works on paper which are um just painted directly on paper sometimes using uh stencils which are cut out of paper uh that are basically printouts of the photographs i i, I took so there's kind of a collage like approach incorporating sort of disparate information um, and then there, there will also be accompanying uh, digital animations, which hopefully kind of ex elaborate on some of the stories and some of the experiences in a, in a uh, time-based format. So kind of different ways to approach uh, a story. For my final show, I am making an installation, again, an installation in which I use paintings. And each painting has a set of directions for artists who want to participate and these actions will be staged jointly from across the world so that artists can feel a sense of community even if they're not occupying the same space. The paintings themselves function as communicative objects to create a sense of community between artists. There is a way in which I see this final uh, exhibition as connected in some way to the kind of spirit that Grant Wood was looking for in the art colony, the stone art colony, trying to create a sense of community. And so there is a similar kind of spirit of connection and of creating a kind of creative environment you know for artists that that is more sustainable for art making and for the creative process than you know simply having artists you know work in an isolated manner and i think that the this idea of the grant wood colony is very important not only for a time of economic recession but also for the future thinking you know in terms of progress of the arts and support of the arts.